بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters, let me quote you a hadith of the Prophet of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم where he says وَإِنَّ الْمَلَائِكَةَ لَا تَضَعُ أَجْنِحَتَهَا لِطَالِبِ الْعِلْمِ رِضًا بِمَا يَصْنَعُ That the angel, they spread the wings for the seeker of knowledge out of pleasure for what he is doing. The student of knowledge, when they travel to seek knowledge, Allah Azza wa Jal, He commands the angel to come and spread the wings under your feet so that it becomes easy for you to seek the knowledge. Another thing that we could understand that people need to go out to seek knowledge. And this was the ways of those pious predecessors before us. They used to go out and to seek knowledge. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. All praise to Allah Azza wa Jal. We will be getting this opportunity inshaAllah Ta'ala when we will go out to seek knowledge. So brothers and sisters come with us when we go to Mecca al Mukarrama, Madina al Munawwara, Mahabat al Wahi, Manba al Risala. We are going where everything began, where the prophethood began, the land of revelation. You will, we will go there to seek knowledge, inshallah ta'ala. Not only we will seek knowledge, we will get the opportunity to be in the company of the scholars as well. And most importantly, you are in front of Kaaba al-Musharrafa, you're in front of the holy Kaaba, you're in Madinah al munawwara as well. We will go to the places where the Prophet of Allah physically, he went there. We will go to the places where various verses of the Quran was revealed. So you're not just getting information, you are actually being there and it is different as one of the poets have said خذ ما ترى ودع شيئا سمعت به في طلعة البدر يغنيك عن زحلي to the nearest meaning he said that خذ ما ترى you know something that you see take that you know because this is the factual knowledge that you are actually witnessing you're being there and you're receiving it imagine you are at a place where we say that this is the place where the prophet of allah Azza wa Jal, he stood here and he fought against the disbelievers this is the place where the prophet of allah stood here and he gave out a khutbah and the sermon and you're actually there you know you're looking around the world has changed you know transportation has changed and the media has changed people have changed countries and areas have changed but guess what the places where the Prophet of Allah was there, those areas hasn't changed. You know, you know, Uhud hasn't changed. The same Uhud that you will see. The Masjid of the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in term, in terms of his uh, uh, of the building structure, has changed, but the place hasn't changed. You know, where the Prophet of Allah he stood and he gave the khutbah, for example, is still there. The place where the Prophet of Allah stood and he led the people in salah, that place is preserved as well. And you know, to go to these places and and to understand the hadith. You know, it gives another meaning to it. Most importantly, uh, nowadays we have a various ways, various access to learn knowledge. We could sit at home and press a couple of buttons and we could get this hadith as well. That's not a bad thing, as actually, we are learning, but traveling for knowledge is showing that Allah the zeal the enthusiasm that we have that Allah want to learn and you know you're showing that willingness to Allah Azza wa Jal, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless us with the knowledge inshallah ta'ala with this in mind Ibrahim College is holding wing walkers uh, inshallah ta'ala very soon and we will be going to Mecca and Madinah to Munawwara uh, where we will have will visit those places we'll be performing Umrah and inshallah ta'ala we will be also having uh, a discussion around the tarikh of Mecca and Medina, Sirah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa in addition to many other topics and inshallah ta'ala I hope that I will see you there. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.